Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning August 2nd, 2021. So immediately I want to jump in here and talk about how we emotionally process. So we're going to have to see what actual events are coming up, but whatever it is, it is definitely something that's trying to get us to process in a more efficient way. So this is not a message of uh, you know, we're getting numb to things that are happening, but rather we are getting stronger. I know I'm sounding like, <laughs> like an inspirational poster right now. Hang with me, <laughs> but we're getting stronger and more adept at handling the things that come our way. So having said that, it's more of a mm, sort of outward emotional, oh my gosh, kind of reaction, whatever's going on in your personal life and out in the world and more of a Let's handle this. Let's let's get through this, okay? If that makes any sense. Now, there's also this uh, thing coming up here about there's this whole thing around invalidation, invalidation, and mm, this pattern we tend to have with each other about gaslighting. I have to say, I'm not a psychologist. Please check with an expert. Like you don't know that when you come here, please. Um, but anyway, I have to say that. <laughs> but this whole thing around gaslighting. It has become so prevalent where, you know, spiritually speaking, it's like a diminishment of one another, where we all want to feel so validated and so important uh, that we will, like there's this, it's coming to our awareness where we're shooting each other down way too much in order to accomplish that. So you might say, well, Michelle, this is not grandiose wisdom. We know that, but do we? Because if we knew that it wouldn't be happening anymore, right? Or if you say, nah, maybe it's not so bad and maybe that's why it's still happening. Or what are you talking about? Like, you know, everybody needs to grow a tough skin or, you know, grow up. I remember I had a very, very severe incident happen at a company I was working at. Women, you probably know what I'm about to say or not say. Um, you, you know what I'm getting at here. But I told a coworker who is a woman and she laughed and she said, Basically, it was like, boys will be boys, get over it, you better toughen up because that's what these guys do. And honestly, you should be honored that they chose you to do that with. Messed up. It's messed up. But that is a form of thinking out there. All right? Uh, we see this, I don't want to get too controversial here, but we see this in certain roles that people are supposed to have out in the world. I'm supposed to be in charge. You're supposed to listen to me and I'm going to keep you low. I'm going to keep you down because I'm the alpha or whatever weird thing that people try to put around that. But <laughs> the, the whole message here is that there's something breaking open with this. Now, on an individual level, I think some of you are going to become aware of what sort of toxicity or diminishment keeps coming at you and you're gonna figure out how to heal it. It's not about how you're gonna shut it down or come back at that person or whatever. How are you going to heal it within you? And, and from there, you can set your healthy boundaries. Um, out in the world, this, I'm telling you, like I just heard backfiring. There's a lot of this just backfiring on people. Now, the sad thing about this that I'm picking up on is that I feel like there's, there's like a good energy out there. There are good people who just sort of got trained to think my value comes from, you know, doing intellectual pursuits. That's what I'm supposed to be doing. And I want to say it's almost, they're not quite enablers. They're, they're kind of just playing the game, it seems. And it backfires on them, but they're good people. They just need to be woken up a little bit and like, hey, some realization. So use this as a time to wake up and start catching yourself. You know, um, if somebody says, I went to this restaurant and the wait staff was really rude. No, that's not my experience. Every time I go there, they're completely nice. Stop doing that, okay? <laughs> just because just you've never experienced it doesn't mean nobody else ever has, all right? It's that kind of thing. Or giving this message of the problem must be you when you're not in that person's shoes okay so 
just be careful of that. That's a message that is coming up. Okay, so I'm seeing a mountain. They're showing me the summit of a mountain. And it feels like people are escaping. They're trying to run up into the mountains. Um, I live in the mountains. I wonder if that's like, oh God, I hope there isn't a fire. It would be fire season, but you wouldn't run up into the mountain to escape a fire, obviously. Um, and I am seeing a pink sky behind it as well. Now, remember, when these messages come up, they can be metaphorical. Um, nope. No, I just looked. I felt the need to kind of like look over and I just saw <laughs> I have a bookshelf right off camera here with all my spiritual books on it, actually. And I see rising. So that pink sky is a sunrise, I think. Yeah. Okay. You know, because th th I'm just tuning into the feeling of this. So that, that image of a mountain, it could be taken a few different ways, right? It could be because I felt like people are escaping to the top of the mountain. But that doesn't necessarily have to mean that there's trouble down below and everyone's trying to, you know, get away from it. It can be uh, a symbol of peace and harmony and quiet and, you know, getting in touch with ourselves and not, as I always say, throwing the energy outside of us, whether it's at another person or a situation or what have you. Um, and, and getting, yeah, back into our centered mentality is what they're saying. A centered mentality. Because there's going to be a lot of narratives out there, guys. There, there already have been for forever, but there are going to be a lot of narratives that are trying to put guilt on people, um, getting people upset, getting them riled, getting them to overreact and explode. And they're saying that this comes from a place of suppression and powerlessness, and I mean, and it feels like there's this explosive panic behind it. And as I'm saying this, so I'm getting this message through, they're still giving me the image of that mountain. And you know, it's not escaping something physical. It's not escaping at all. It's going and sitting with yourself and sitting in peace to regain that peace. But antagonism, there, there, there are people being antagonized and put into fear. And then when they explode and they come back, um, they aren't handling it very well. They're not coming from a loving place, even though they're not necessarily bad people. In that moment, the way they're responding is not very loving, okay? So that's what I'm feeling. That's what's coming up here. Could this be protests? I suppose. Um, what I feel like it really is, is, um, again, we always got to be careful what we say here on YouTube, but another act of suppression like maybe a global, a worldwide suppression. And uh, people are saying, I don't believe you. No, no. This could also be information coming out. People were wanting me to talk about ETs. <laughs> ETs are already here. They've been here. It's not a shocker. There's a little bit of extraterrestrial energy in everybody. Uh, we are of the stars. So we are stardust. So... I don't know. I, I think, I, listen, that keeps going down a road of <laughs> we're waiting for this grandiose display to come at us. If it happens, great. I'll bring the popcorn. Okay. But um, it, it's more about that understanding and that wisdom opening up within you. At least that's the feeling I'm getting right now. <sighs> know your own history. Know your own past. Um, that's a message from Archangel Metatron. And if you've watched any of my other videos, you know that he's associated with the Akashic Records and uh, kind of understanding what your timelines are and what is that quantum field? What is in your personal field? How does that all come meshing and mashing together? <laughs> I guess, depending on where you are. Um, that's what's happening. That awareness that... We're no longer accepting this narrative that we're just a physical world. Now, I don't need to tell you guys that, but I think you're going to be faced with people either running. I don't, I'm telling you what, I don't know what kind of information this is, but it, it's like everybody coming and running to you because you're the spiritual one in the family or you're the spiritual one in the friend group or whatever. And maybe you're always the joke. Maybe people always kind of had that silent disapproval because they didn't have like the guts to be like, I don't believe in that like, <laughs> which is fine you don't have to believe in it but you know all these people that might have uh kind of judged you 
for your uh, for your belief system they judge you for your belief system now they're coming to you for help don't get a big head okay keep it level remember <laughs> if we're in our own emotional intelligence and we're balancing all of that out you can sit in quiet wisdom so again that image of that mountain is coming and it's almost i think you know if you want to see it as um our duty to make sure that we are practicing patience and peace and healing and releasing and you know all of those things so that we can be prepared that's what we came here for right we are the empathetic ones we are the empaths we are the ones that you know we go through a lot of stuff so that we can help others and I know that you all have that calling not all of you maybe but you know a lot of people out there have that calling but it's not enough to just go okay I showed up I'm answering the calling you better be prepared you can't just show up being an engineer okay without the education <laughs> to know how to do that right so you have to be going for an empath your education so to speak is your life education and you learning how to heal and process okay not eh, gosh I'm getting a message now about like these false empaths or like dark empaths check with an expert that might be a psychological term but you know people who are highly manipulative and want to again this whole idea of diminish other people quieting down the actual empaths the ones who are carriers of light if you want to see it that way uh it sounds like a bumper sticker to me but it's the language we have what we go and do okay <laughs> that's all there is to it but you know kind of um diminishing the actual empaths so that they look more important and yet they don't have a real life uh, mission sort of like you do you know what I'm saying or like we do I should say and so theirs is more ego driven they're giving the ego a bad name they just care about having power and control over people that's why it's you know any kind of issue that a human being could have uh, where they want to feed off of someone else you know they're going to be in any of those professions where someone could be vulnerable so there you go i'm just going i'm not going to call anything out but you know what i'm talking about so just be careful any position of power that is pretty much where they could be lurking so it's really a time for us to rise <laughs> i sound so silly i sound like a sci-fi movie or something like rise up and <laughs> <laughs> there's gonna be this whole thing happening but really what it is it's, it's not us having to go and be a part of a war it depends on how you take that um, or how you view that I guess uh, but it's not that it, it's being centered in our own heart having come through we've done all of the hard work we well maybe not all of it but what we need to do up until now we've managed right we've healed we've you know opened our perceptions and all of that and so now what's happening is as i said this is starting that time it's already been going on for a while but you're really going to see this influx of people coming at us i'm already seeing it on my channel i always know when my channel is getting swept up in the algorithm when i start getting more trolls more haters <laughs> <laughs> but also I get the panicky people I don't know what's going on I, I keep having these weird dreams or I feel like something's looming and I don't know what to do with it you know what I'm saying so like that that's I think anybody who's watching this if you're very empathic I think that's a message for you get ready you've been getting ready but it's not going to happen in an overt way this growth this awakening it's happening so it's almost like sound frequencies that are beyond what a human can hear um, it's still there it's still vibrating and as much as we want to say well I'm an empath and therefore um, you know I should be able to pick up on those frequencies and understand them you may not and that doesn't lessen your importance in this duty does that make sense so don't go down this road of I'm focused more on uh, ways that I can prove my light or prove my abilities my my esoteric art so that I can be better than somebody else who does esoteric art 
it's less about that. And I understand, I understand the need to prove ourselves because, <laughs> hi, again, I'm out here constantly getting, I get it too. I hear it all the time. We're all a bunch of wackos out here not knowing anything, but that's, that's changing. And so I think the message here is that we're coming out of the space of having to sort of validate ourselves and prove ourselves. And it's like, I ain't got time for that. I don't have time for that. I, I, I've got to focus on this over here. And for some of you, it's works of expression. But again, how many times have you seen somebody get really pretentious about the work that they're doing? You feel what I'm getting at here? Like we gotta really be balanced here and be watching where we kind of get pulled off course, where someone claims to know more than we do. They might have some wonderful information to share, a whole other perspective, but they should be just as respectful of your perspective as well. And that's what we're getting at here. Uh, to not tolerate the diminishment, right? This whole idea of I get to have power over you or I know more than you. Yeah. This feels like we could go on for two hours talking about this, but let's just get onto the cards, okay? <laughs> Pulling some cards. Okay, so I do have a new deck here. Um, I know we all get into our habits and everything, so I still have the other decks over here, but this is the Vintage Wisdom Oracle by Victoria uh, Mosley. So there is the cover. Let's see how this is. There are a couple of cards in here that have a little bit of, uh, might have to cover them up, <laughs> edit them out a little bit. It's not bad, they're artwork, it's just art. But you know, you know, people get fussy, YouTube gets, I said it, I'm not afraid. All right, <laughs> let's get into it here. Let's see. I like how these shuffle, by the way. That's always nice. Let's drop the deck. Oh, there's one. Okay, thought. Okay, I already like this. Thought. Now, my, my immediate response to that was not watch your thoughts. That came as a secondary message, but this feels like being at the top of that mountain, being in contemplation having some quiet time, kind of disconnecting from, you know, all the chaos that's going on. Not so that you are, um, I know some of you are gonna disagree with me on this. There is such a thing as spiritual escapism. This is something that was really being pushed by a certain um, supposed guru out there, especially around 2012 going into 2013, 2014, you know what I'm saying? Where it was like, don't watch the news, I'm too sensitive for the news. Well, this just got people in that victimization mode. Should you be discerning about news? Yeah, but you can do it. You're capable of being discerning. But if you're constantly running away from the news, uh, how do you know what's happening to other people? Again, I know you have to kind of be discerning, but you're capable of being discerning. Do you know how often, you know, because I'll be honest, I don't have cable or anything like that but one of my viewers will pop out you know in, in the comments and say hey can you pray for me and my country can you send some good energy to me and my country and my family because this is what's going on now you know a couple of weeks ago something was going on it had happened it was in another part of the world it was while i was sleeping as soon as i saw that comment i went and looked up on the news what's being reported and i look at the news again with discernment but there are actually human beings out there going through something. So you're not being somebody who's actually serving your purpose by pretending like nothing's going on in the world. That's actually very self-serving. Oh, I'm too sensitive, I can't. Learn, okay, learn. We have to be there for one another. I know I would be incredibly uh, disturbed, I think. If I'm, you know, I live in Colorado Springs, when I moved here, there were two major fires. There was the Waldo Canyon fire that almost took up the whole town. Okay, well, not the whole town, but the whole west side. Uh, and the Black Forest fire. Now, if people who are just trying to be super spiritual and just high vibes only, that's toxic positivity. I said it, toxic positivity. What, people can't have emotions around you? You're above it all? 
It's a red flag, my friends. Be careful. And if you forget, I'm here to remind you. But I would be very upset if I'm going through a life-altering, potentially even life-threatening kind of situation. And someone who's just high vibes only, just burying their head in the sand. Hey, just can you send some prayers my way? <laughs> can you send? You see what I'm getting at here? I hope I'm making myself clear. So again, this is about deep contemplation. This is about really tuning into what I, you know, what you came here for. Yes. And it, it could be heart thoughts as well. Okay, that table is full over there. I need this table over here. Okay, <laughs> there we go. Let's get the next card. And really, you know, anybody who's going to have a negative reaction to what I just said, it's because we're talking about them. <laughs> and they needed to get told, okay? I mean, because we're not gonna make any change unless we start offering a different perspective. We have to stop going along with the narrative, I guess is, is what I'm saying. You don't have to rebel, but offer a different perspective. Make sure my microphone is okay. All right, there's the next one. Compassion. Okay, can I kind of show this card? Yeah, I can show this card, this one's fine. Compassion. So again, that's exactly what we were just talking about, about how we kind of bury our heads in the sand and we look away and it's like, oh, I'm too sensitive to handle what's going on with everybody else. You're not here to save everybody, but you can't just hide away either. You came in here to be a part of this. I can't talk today. I keep stumbling over my words. You're gonna see so many jump cuts, which is exactly what's going on when you guys see jump cuts in my my videos yeah or i start getting the hiccups or i have to sneeze or cough or something but today it's not being able to get words out what the heck am i saying i'm saying <laughs> basically you know not just turning away it ends up being a little bit self-serving you're not here to save everybody but we don't need to pretend like only your existence matters does that make sense not that i have to say that to too many of you out there I'm more I'm bringing that message forward because I think some of you are going to have to go out there and contend with that, contend with people who are doing the false positivity, the toxic positivity, just so they seem more spiritual. It's more about the image for them than any sort of true wisdom or true compassion. Okay. So don't fall into that. Don't fall along with that. Make sure you are preserving your actual compassion. Yeah, it's the empath's day. And we'll be from this day forward. So you gotta you gotta make sure your balance harmonious. All right. Okay, what else do we have here? We have these are so cute. I love these playfulness. <laughs> this is adorable. So actually, this is a time where we can kind of be set free. So yeah, and they're saying that a lot of people have overcorrected in their spirituality, and that's fine. I mean, I think every single one of us got into this, you know, positivity state to correct all the negativity that had been going on. But this actually frees us. The balance will free us so that we can be more playful in our existence and actually make time for playfulness, uh, connecting with the inner child. Okay, that's gonna help you. It's gonna help you as an empath. All right, I love these cards. So we have purity, and this is exactly going along with what we were saying. Have purity of intention, have purity of thought, have balanced thought. Anything that's trying to pull you to one side or the other is imbalanced. It's not okay. How many people get self-righteous about their beliefs? I'm the far this, I'm the far that in politics and, you know, wellness and whatever. Balance is where the purity is. Okay. And not, there's a huge message here to not get pulled astray. Do not get pulled astray because what's going to happen, I think, is you're going to see an influx of uh, supposed gurus popping up everywhere. <laughs> you got problems, we got answers kind of thing. When really, you know, even gurus have to learn. Even gurus have to learn. They have to remember. And that's, that's what happens. Coming to this earth plane and they got to find their way back to remembrance. So I'm going to pull um, one of these moon, what is it, moonology? cards just one 
What do we have? We have you and your loved ones are safe, new moon and cancer. Uh, an emotional time and it can be a time where it feels uh, like you want to fight back at someone because the crab still has the little, little crabby claws, right? <laughs> I wouldn't go up to a crab on the beach, okay? <laughs> like, come for you. But you and your loved ones are safe. You may feel this need to kind of like protect and act out. Don't, just don't. I know here where I live, the road rage, oh my God, what is even happening? And just people wanting to act out on each other. I mean, we need to get into that space of peace. We need to be the carriers of peace. And no, not everybody's going to respond well to that. But here's the thing. They will be foolish enough to believe that they are winning. They will be foolish enough as you are in your calm, wisdom, peace, in your light, you're in your heart wisdom. They think that they can, whoever they are, you know, whoever would be opposite of that, sort of acting out, um, they're going to think that they can control you. But the joke is going to be on them. And there's going to be, I just heard a devastating wake up call for those that mean to do harm. Now, I don't know that that's like fire and brimstone. Uh, I don't, I don't know that it's that, but it'll be for these people. It'll be even more devastating than that. It's almost they like the pain of that. This is more, more devastating because they realize they don't actually have power and they never did. There you go. All right, so we have pink, let love in. The number is four. We need to be in the love space. We need to be kind and loving towards one another. It does have a feeling like we are kind of weathering a storm. And so we have to, you know, it's so weird. I just had a dream about a storm. I was in a country that was not the United States. Um, and there was like a, oh, what are they called? <laughs> there was like a hurricane that came in basically, but it was in another land. I wasn't familiar with it. And I was with a bunch of strangers. And yet as soon as that storm started to come in, we all banded together and went running off to safety. And we had to sit and figure out how we were going to shelter in place for several days. You know, hi everyone, it's Michelle here. I'm sitting here editing this weekly video and I record these weeks in advance typically and as I'm watching this, I'm getting chills that I had that dream because we know that in Europe there is a lot of flooding. Entire towns are being wiped out. Uh, people are still missing and it's been absolutely devastating and catastrophic. So I just want to interject here and say my love to everybody who's being affected by the floods in Europe. And of course, to everybody who's being affected, there's so much stuff going on all around the world. Whatever it is that you're going through, Please remember that we are a community here. We are a good emotional support. So let us know what is happening for you and in what way we may help. You know, there was this, this need through, you know, protecting one another, this, this need of connection, I guess, during, I guess you could see it as a tragedy or see it as uh, turmoil, you know, all that kind of stuff. So letting the love in, this is opening your heart and this is allowing us to remember we don't have to give in to a surface level narrative. That narrative is done. This is the real power. All right? So we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.